channel this is Waga we are going to continue building our chill app and um, yeah last time we worked on the I believe the message model and the message repository and this time we're going to work on the various blocks required yeah um, as always like and subscribe um, you can share this video leave a comment in the comment uh, section and you can start the repository on github uh, okay Let's continue. Um, first things first is we are going to create uh, the um, the block the the block in particular for the messages, and that's what we're going to do next. Continue. First thing first thing first is we could come here and close all close all the windows that were open, and come back uh, come into the block, and uh, we can create a new package. The package is going to be called message. We could just call it message block dot message like so, and hit enter. And in here we could use our plugin. Save us a bit of code. Come to block generator, and in the block generator create a new block. We could call it. Yeah, you guessed it. And we of course want to use Equitable so that you can compare. Because that, as you know, has only referential equality. Um, we could come and we get the block barrel file, the blocks, the events, and the states. And yeah, like so. And first things first, um, to make our code, our life easier, as usual, we could come here and copy this code, like so. I think I've explained it several times. And we come here and we do this. And we can hit the save button then you can get rid of it in the inherited class and yeah like so and we can save our first state is going to be uh, we could call it um, message initial state we could just reverse this call it message initial initial state like so um, this one is not going to be comparing anything so we could leave it like that we could hit command D, come down here after message initial state. The next one is going to be called chart loading state. And it is also not going to be uh, comparing anything. So we could say chart loading state like so. This is not going to be comparing anything. So we can leave it like so. And we can hit command D and give it a bit of space, come down. And the next one is going to be chart loaded state. So we could say chart loaded state. And this one is going to create, uh, compare a few things. So we could come down here and say, uh, create a variable or a field. We could say um, final, which is going to be um, chat stream, chat stream like so. Uh, put a semicolon. This is that after all, and um, it's going to be. A stream of query snapshots query snapshot like so and we are going to come here and um, create a constructor and yeah we're going to create a constructor and this is going to be a named parameter so we could come here and do this come here and do this like so and of course we're going to be comparing them based on the chart stream so we could copy this line of code, the override, come down here, like so, paste it here. And what we can add here is quite simply the chart stream, like so. Yeah, so that is a chart loaded state. So basically, um, we don't have a lot of work to do. We have the message initial state, the chart loading state, and the chart loaded state. Basically, um, this is the entirety of our message state. And yeah, and um, I've talked about abstract classes. I've talked about this line of code. This is what we use to compare. Um, yeah, and I've talked about what Equatable does. Equatable allows us to compare various instances of the state without all the boilerplate code. I think I showed it in a, a few, many videos back. I think we have now, we're now into like 10 or more videos. So yeah, so basically this is our state and now we should move on to our events. Continue. Um, the next thing we could do is we could come to the event. 
so like so and we can move back to the state and we could borrow this line of code so we could come copy this copy go back to the event and we could paste this line here like so and we could save and after that um we are going to basically just have one event right in the message event um this one is going to be um we could say class chat stream event extends message event like so we're going to create a final field and say final of type string current current user id like so and we can make a constructor and name um we could make a constructor and this is going to be named so we could do this like so come here do this and afterward we could because we are going to be comparing them based on the current user id we would copy this line of code come back here and we could put here what do we put the current user id right current user id like so and so we hit save and this in its entirety is the message event basically yeah we're just going to have the chat stream event and remember events are inputs usually uh, from the ui that um the block uses to return a stage that causes the ui to rebuild i think we've covered that extensively in the first video so i'm sure you're very comfortable with message of uh, with the events portion of the um of the blocks next we are going to start working on the granddaddy the block continue um we're going to go to the block and um give ourselves a bit more real estate and the first thing is that our initial state is not the initial state it's the message initial state um initial state like so so the message initial state that error goes away and we're going to create a, a field here of message repo repository. So we could say message repository like so. And this is going to be message repository like so. And um, after that, uh, we are going to, we could fetch it from anywhere, I'm guessing. And does any any other thing have a dependency on message? Uh, I don't think so. So we could just call, come to profile. No, profile has to. Let's come to search and go to the search block, and we can copy this line of code like so. Basically, our block has a dependency on on the message repository, and we're just telling it it's not going to be null. So we could pass it here and instead of, um, let's give ourselves more space so I can see clearly. And when it's folded like that in two lines, it doesn't look, you can't recognize it easily. So we could say message block at required and this is going to be message repository like so. And remember this is, this required annotation comes from the meta package we have talked about that i believe and this is going to be message repository and this is going to be message repository and we're just saying the message repository isn't going to be now we're going to say message repository like so it's not going to be now and um here we're going to say the message repository and after that this is going to be message repository like so so basically we are telling it that it has a dependency on the on the message repository and it is not going to be null and after that we are going to continue and what we are going to do is we're going to come down to the map event to state this takes an event and um, returns a state uh yeah and map event to state it takes the message event event async star because it is of course as you know a stream um we could hit save come down here why is it why isn't this message event okay it just it looks odd like that like with the closing bracket down here 
Yeah. So let's continue. And um, we first check if the event in question is chat, wait, chat stream event. If that is the chat stream event, and we are going to use the yield star or yield each. Um, we use the yield in to separate the event handlers into their own functions. I will create this function and pass it down. This is essentially a generator function and I think I have talked about this previously extensively. So you just look at the previous videos. I'm sure you'll find it somewhere there. Um, so basically yield star will insert all elements of the subsequence into the sequence currently being constructed as a, constru as a constructor. Yeah. Um, and we'll get an individual yield. Anyway, we're going to create a method as usual with a weird name. And this yield star is going to be a map, map, map stream, map stream to state. We could call it map stream to state like so. And it's going to take, um, a current ID, uh, current ID is going to be essentially the event dot current user ID, basically. Or we could just call this current user ID, make it uniform. So current user ID is going to be event dot current user ID. Like so. Now it is our time to we build this um, this method. And what we're going to do is we're going to come to come here to map stream and let the ID help us a bit. We could say method like so. And this is going to have it's going to have a stream of type. Let me just type message state like so. And we could get rid of it up here and come down here and um, first um, this is a stream so this is going to be async star or async each no if this is yield star is this also async each uh, I'm guessing I don't know um, yeah so after that we could say yield not yield star and say chat loading state it's loading chat loading state like so and put a semicolon here and afterwards you can come here and say stream uh, it's going to be a stream of query snapshot like so and we're going to call it chat stream and this is going to reach over into the message repository and it's going to get chats based on the user ID is going to be current user ID, like so. And we put a semicolon and we go after that, we're going to yield the chat loaded state like so. And this one is going to take a chat stream of type chat chat stream yeah like so so it's going to take a chat stream or type chat stream so basically that's all there is to our app uh no all there is to our block um it's not a lot on this page and yeah basically that's that mm, yeah and i think we can call this video quits i think uh, because everything here if i explain like I, I'm sure you know what async star is, what yield star is, after how many blocks, how many blocks have we made? Let's come to the block folder. We have had the, the sign up block, the search block, the profile block, the message block, the matches block, the login block, and the authentication block. So all those blocks, and I think we still have one more left, but basically that is the entirety of block, and I'm sure now you must be comfortable with block. And so we can call it safely call it quits. I'm guessing this video is a bit shorter than the others, but it's better because um, we might need we'll need a bit of coding to produce this page. 
but we will continue that in the next video so thank you for watching leave a like um uh, comment in the comment section um share this video and you can start the repository on github have a good day and i'll see you in the next video